This is the first time that I ran the wart chiller, and I was worried that the wart actually wouldn't feed through on gravity feed, but as you can see in a second, there you go, it made it just fine. And it actually drained the whole keg, no problem. Took about 20 minutes for everything to flow through. Here's a close-up of the wart chiller I was just using. And what you're going to need is at least 15 feet of some garden hose. It's 5 8 And then you're going to need some 3 8 OD soft copper tubing. Got 25 feet there, but I only used about 15 feet for the project. and then some copper wire, some bare copper wire and that I'm going to use to wrap around the copper tubing to uh, create some flutes and then you'll need some zip ties, some emery cloth, some um, hose clamps and some copper. There's six pieces, that are about, that's all a half inch copper there's six short pieces, they're about two inches each and then there are two copper T's, you'll need those, and you'll need some reducers. These go from half inch to three eighths. But be careful, on the inside there's some little um, stops that are built in there so that when you insert the copper it actually stops before it goes through. And on the three eighths side that is not what we want. We want the copper actually to go all the way through and let me show you that over here. Um, what you do is you just use a chainsaw file or some kind of a file to file those stops out. And actually you can you can find some without stops as well. Um, but these ones have the stops in. So you can see the copper coming right through there. And you'll also need some solder and some flux. And something to heat it up. Opening torch. Just a little bit of silicone, a knife, measuring tape screwdriver for the hose clamps and some kind of wire cutters or something would be helpful. First you're going to cut the ends off of the hose. Um, you will be reattaching those on the wart chiller at the end, so leave yourself some room for that. Next you'll take a length of copper tubing equal to the length of your hose that you just cut the ends off and wrap the copper wire around that. You'll be soldering it on in a minute in spots which will affix it to the copper tubing. Um, those flutes are going to create turbulent flow around the copper tubing which is far more efficient than just leaving it as bare copper. Anytime you're soldering copper, you need to use flux. The flux allows the solder to stick to the copper. Here's the setup for the uh, little T-manifold that you're going to build for the counterflow chiller on the top end of the screen. You can see the 3 8 reducer, and then you have the T with the other two ends, which will be connected to hoses. Next, we're going to slip that whole garden hose on top of the copper tubing that we've just um, wrapped the copper wire around and soldered it on. Make sure it's cool or you'll burn your hands. Pull back the hose a little bit and I used a clamp to keep it back. And then you're going to slip your manifold over top, make sure it sticks right through. And then you're going to solder the end tip where the 3 8 comes out through the reducer. The 
I used a little bit of silicone on the pieces where the hose will be slipping back on. Um, make sure the silicone is cured before we turn the water on, otherwise it'll just squirt right off. Use a hose clamp to tighten it down onto your half inch tubing. I use an old uh, water jug to wrap the chiller around. What you don't want to do is kink that copper tubing that's inside. If you kink it, it's going to create a flat spot and then it's going to restrict the flow. You don't want to restrict the flow of the water inside that small tubing. So be careful not to kink it. After I coiled the chiller up, I used some zip ties to keep it all together. Next, we added the uh, hose ends back onto the remaining T's on the little manifolds. Here's the wart chiller in action. What you're going to want to do is let the hot wart flow through first to sanitize the inside of your wart chiller and we got a drop from That's 95 right. down to about 33. Not bad. If the wart chiller was longer um, it would have cooled it better but then you would definitely need a pump to pump it through if it's longer than 15 feet. And that's my wart chiller. <laughs>